that's because this bone is, is fractured. That's a good one. the pink sheet. Hey. Hey. Fracture. Um, I didn't get feels left, but not right or tail. Okay. Definitely not normal by any means. Yeah. I don't think there's any in the tail. Yeah. I mean, it's just it's that left side that you know, right. doesn't do the normal screaming, crying, crying, right. trying to look. But I think. And say consistently, but more consistently, acts like Reacts. you can feel it. It's like washing your pants. It's <laughs> it's really difficult. <laughs> yeah, no, so the challenge for me is, I mean, every time I squeeze the pelvic limbs, we did not react immediately. Right. You know, it wasn't like Julia was touching the dog's back or restraining right. or anything like that. Valentine plans. You're looking at him. Jay forgot it was Valentine's Day, so do you want through Presumably I, I saved him by being here late because he didn't have anything planned. This is CJ's MRI uh, of the mid back. So this is the upper back. The shoulder blades would be right around here. The head would be over here. This is the back. The chest would be down here. And what we're looking at is the bones of the back. And this is kind of what you could feel if you ran your hand down, down a dog's back. This is the spinal cord. And you see here, it kind of takes this, this kink here. It's not a dramatic kink, but, but you can see it. When we look at the, the length and the size and the shape of each bone, you know, all of these are sort of roughly the same size. But then this guy here, it's a little shorter, and that's the one that's angled. It's more of a, a trapezoid as opposed to a rectangle. That's because this bone is, is fractured. MRIs are good for looking at soft tissue, so we use it to sort of evaluate the spinal cord, you know, see if there's compression of the spinal cord, see if there's bruising, hemorrhage, things like that, soft tissue inside the spinal cord, which we don't see a whole lot of that. The other thing that we can see is the dorsal spinous process of the bone in front of it of T10 is fractured, but that's not causing any compression. The compression of the spinal cord all seems to be from uh, this bone. So MRIs are good for looking at soft tissue, but the other thing that we do is a CT CT is nice that it shows bone really well. And the other thing that we can do with the CT is sort of do what we call reconstructions where use the computer to sort of realign all of these images and reconstruct them so that I can look at it in multiple planes and know sort of the better the character of, of the fracture. Is it broken into multiple pieces or is it sort of one clean line or is it more of a compression. It appears to be more of a compression fracture. The other thing that I use the CT for is planning where I'm going to put the implant. So, so what we're going to do for surgery is try and reline up the bones of the back. Then what we will do is stabilize it by putting screws into these bones to stabilize so that it's not moving and it's not causing further uh, one pain and two potential further compression or damage to the spinal cord. So we use CT here to sort of plan, for example, for the, the T13, excuse me, the T12 vertebral body, we'll be aiming to put our 
screw in right at about this angle and I can use it to say, well, gosh, you know, here's about the length of the screw that I'm going to put in and here's the angle and here's how big that corridor or what size screw I should pick to fit in this size bone for this particular dog. So those are the things that we're doing. Dr. DeVita is actually getting the puppy positioned for surgery right now. So I'm going to go check that out. I'm going to go do our best to fix this dog. The big concern with this dog, uh, I guess, is a couple things. One, there's questionable deep pain or nociception. So in the left pelvic limb, when we squeeze really hard, the dog gets a little agitated, but doesn't cry, turn, try and bite. Whereas in the right pelvic limb and the tail, there's absolutely no reaction whatsoever. So that puts us in a lower likelihood of recovery, but the fact that we could feel a little something gives us hope. So uh, it's a young dog, nine months old, so hopefully we can uh, make a big difference and have a good outcome. Basically, what we end up doing is going as far as we can. 